of all the games I could be playing in 2020, I, I keep finding myself going back to Rocket League for some reason. It's a good, it's a good game to just pick up and play. If you've got half an hour, pick it up, play it, put it down. Just play one or two games. It's only what 10, 15 minute rounds at most. And now that it's free to play, I've picked it up on the Switch as well, and I find myself playing it quite a lot in bed. Maybe about half an hour before I go to bed at night. And while it is fine on the Switch, the Switch obviously is not a very powerful device. You can choose between high performance or high graphics. And either way, if you choose the high performance, you get the better frame rate, but it's not very nice to look at. If you choose the high graphics, then you drop the frame rate, and it's, it can be a little bit stuttery at times. But anyway, it made me think, is there a better way I could be playing this? And I did try to stream games from my Steam PC to my Steam laptop years ago when it first came out, and it wasn't the best. It wasn't the best experience. The graphics weren't that nice, you lost quite a lot with the compression, and my home network wasn't the best. But now I have a more powerful PC, and in this house I actually have networking, so I have a cable going from my PC to the wall downstairs into a switch, which then connects to the router so that you can give me Wi-Fi for this laptop. To get the best performance, you would use an Ethernet cable to both devices. Obviously, Ethernet's always going to be wireless, but it's just not practical in some scenarios. Like for me, I was trying to lie in bed and, and play some Rocket League. I'm not going to run a 20-foot a cable to the next room to find the nearest network socket. But like I was saying, I decided to give it another go, now that I've got a faster PC, faster network. And it does work really well. I was actually genuinely shocked at how well it does work. It's it's not the most powerful laptop, it does, doesn't have the best processor, there's no graphics card, it's just the inbuilt graphics, but it doesn't rely on the laptop at all, it relies mostly on the PC and your network, because all your laptop is doing is displaying the video that's been encoded and sent to it. You have your controller plugged into the laptop, which is sending the signal back to the PC to let it know your inputs, like you want to go left, you want to go right, you want to jump. And again, I was genuinely surprised at how well it worked. So let's take a look at the desktop and the laptop. I'll show you how to set it up, I'll show you how to stream, and I'll give you an idea of the kind of latency, the lag you could be looking at. You'll see the difference between the PC and the laptop. The PC says play, which means it's going to run locally on the machine and let you play it as normal. But the laptop says stream, which means it will play on your desktop and it will stream to the laptop. So let's hit stream on the laptop. So you can see already it's quite fast. If I push down, so this the controller is connected to the laptop. So the input is being sent from the laptop through the wireless to the PC. And it's, it's really smooth. We'll just go into pre free play so we don't ruin anyone else's game. And you can see it is really smooth. There isn't much of a difference between the laptop and the PC. But you can see that the laptop and the desktop are fairly in sync. There may be a small amount of lag, but for a game like Rocket League it's not the end of the world. If you were trying to play CSGO online or something, that might be a different story. One important thing I should have mentioned is obviously the laptop and the desktop need to be on the same network. And that could be, for instance, here my laptop is wirelessly connected, but my PC is wired. But as long as they're on the same network, then there's, there's no problem. As you can see, it couldn't be simpler to set it up, it couldn't be simpler to stream it. And it is very, very usable. I wouldn't be competing in any online FPS tournaments with it, but for recreational gaming, it's, it's, it's fine. If you found this useful, if you found it interesting, hit like, hit subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them below, and we'll see you again next time.